I'm Annie with ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. I'm excited to tell you about our pattern Contain Yourself, which includes instructions for soft-sided bins in three functional sizes, plus all the math to help you make a bin of whatever size you choose. If you like, you may add a vinyl pocket to the front of the bin. Tuck a label or picture of the contents into this pocket for easy identification. Optional handles in two styles may also be attached to any of the bins. On the large bin, we sewed handles to the front and back of the bin. On the medium, we attached handles at the top on each end. Because it's so small, we didn't add any handles to the small bin. Of course, you are free to customize or standardize the handles to suit your needs. Make these handy containers in your favorite fabrics and colors to organize and store all sorts of treasures. Wouldn't it be fun to have bins that coordinate with your decor rather than just settling for boring black or gray canvas? The Contain Yourself pattern gives complete step-by-step -step instructions for making bins in three sizes. The small bin measures two and three quarter inches high, four and a half inches wide, and three and a half inches deep, and is perfect for little treasures, wonder clips, keys, chargers, and more. At six inches high and six inches wide by ten and a half inches deep, the medium bin is just the right size for patterns, DVDs, fabric, or other larger items. Set two bins side by side to organize your life. The large size measures 11 and a quarter inches high, 11 and a half inches wide, and 11 and a half inches deep. So it's perfectly sized to fit on cube style bookcases. Use these versatile bins to corral toys, hats and gloves, fabric, quilts, clothes, or any variety of items. Once you've mastered the technique, design your own bins of any size using the handy formulas and tips that are included in the pattern. You'll love the checkboxes in the pattern to help you keep track of where you are in the process, as well as the handy tags for labeling all your pieces. There are dozens of helpful illustrations in the pattern to guide you, and we've also filmed an add-on video to help you with some of the more unique or challenging aspects of this project. This helpful video series will show you how to choose and prepare fabrics for your bins, mark and cut the bin lining, assemble the bin body, and complete the bin. The clear and complete pattern instructions combined with the add-on video make contain yourself a pattern that can be accomplished by all levels of sewists. Makers will need skills for careful marking and rotary cutting and for sewing accurate seams. Some experience with my patterns and terminology is also helpful as well. Most of the project is very straightforward and the videos will walk you step by step through the more challenging aspects. Let's talk a little bit about the supplies that you will need to make the Contain Yourself bins. The pattern recommends that you use two fabrics for each bin, a main fabric for the exterior and a lining fabric for the inside of each. The lining fabric is also used to make optional handles. Using soft and stable for the bins gives great body and stability and enables you to use any type of fabric. I especially like to use quilting cottons because of the wide range of colors and designs that are available. If you'd like a bit more firm structure to your finished bin, you may add an extra layer of stabilizer such as stiff stuff from Lazy Girl Designs at the very end. This is especially nice on the larger bins. If you'd like to add a label to your bin, you'll also need a little bit of vinyl and of course you'll need thread to match your fabrics. I'm so excited to decorate my home with bins customized to each room and purpose. I know that you'll enjoy making your own Contain Yourself bins too, and that you'll love having custom containers for all your storage needs. We can't wait to see what you make, so be sure to share pictures of your finished projects with us. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube using at Patterns by Annie. And if you liked this video, please click on the like button below to give us some feedback. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button too, so you're sure to know when we post new videos. Thanks so much for watching. Happy stitching!